In a major step forward for green energy, the French government has announced it's going to install 1,000 kilometers of solar panel roads across the country over the next five years. This is going to power 8% of the French population's energy needs. It's the most ambitious solar road plan in the world, and it's going to be funded by hiking the taxes on fossil fuels, which is also a move expected to bring in between 220 to 440 million dollars of funding for this project to pay for these solar roads. Mm -hmm. So we've seen a little bit uh, in the past where the Netherlands installed a bicycle road, but this really is on just a different scale. We're talking about a thousand kilometers of road across France. It's been tested out already over a cycle of a million vehicles. That's 20 years of normal traffic on a road. It doesn't move at all. Apparently, it's withstood a snowplow test. And and they're saying that it will actually cover 8% of France's population's energy needs. Wow. So just, just, just so I'm clear, these are plates, these are solar panel plates that they're going to stick to the surface of the road. Is that right? Yes. They're seven millimeters thick. They're going to stick on the road. Uh, they can take the weight of a six axle truck. Okay. So they sound pretty sturdy. And it makes me wonder why we haven't been doing this. So then, and then, so, but this isn't the first. So the first one is was in the Netherlands, as you said. They, so they stuck it on well, this, a cycle lane, this right? This was a cycle lane, yes. And that was that proved to be very successful. Yeah, that was absolutely successful. But this is obviously on a much grander scale. Mm -hmm. We're talking about general roads across the country, uh, roads that trucks and and traffic will go on on a day to day basis. So if this if this works in France, we could see this happening in America. We could see this happening all over the world. That we'll be driving over solar panels, and I don't see why not. The only caveat is they have said that they do recommend operating machines with a little bit more care than on conventional pavement, okay. but they're really uh, setting the precedent and they're determined and they think that this will, will not move and will not break down. Sure. So, I mean, just for our uh, US viewers, 1,000 kilometers is around 620 miles, just to translate that. So it's a not insignificant amount of road. And as you said, the only... I mean, what if there's a traffic jam? There's the, 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 the roads get gridlocked like they do in this, in this part of the world. You know, on the freeways, power. and everyone's going to suddenly lose power. There's going to be a dimming of the lights because all these trucks are actually sitting and they're not moving and not allowing the sunlight to hit the thing. No, I mean the, the panels. I think it's terrific. You know, 8% is a significant amount, clearly. Listen, one of the reasons why I can think of straight off the bat why it wouldn't work here is the how they're going to pay for it. Well, France's Minister of Ecology and Energy, uh, he said that he's going to raise taxes on fossil fuels. And given the low cost of oil at the moment, he said that this is a natural move. So people have been talking over here as well about this low cost of oil. And uh, some people think it's a good thing, but it's obviously not a good thing for green energy. So hiking the taxes on oil does seem to make sense if we are going to move towards renewables and the cost of oil is coming down. And, and the amount of money that that will bring in, we're talking around up to 440 40 million dollars. That's going to fund this project and put solar panels on the road. That really is an exciting step forward in the movement towards exploring renewable energy.